Hi, this is Homely Cha. I'm Tanya. Today we're going to learn how to join ascending channel. How to join ascending channel? Three steps. First, connect two lows and draw a line. Second, pass a high point and make a parallel line. Third, create a channel. In an up trend, first step, we draw an up trend line. Connect two lows, this low and this low. We get an up trend line. Then we find a high point here. Make a parallel line. This is what we call ascending channel. The price movements is supposed to be within the channel. The upper line has resistance and the lower line has support. Once the price hit the upper line, then heat resistance will turn downwards, and once the price hit lower line, will get support, so the price will turn upwards. We see when price hit upper line turn downwards, hit lower line turn upwards. But if we find price has break through upper line and the next low is not on this line, that means. This ascending channel is not effective anymore. We need to create the ascending channel. How to create? Same. First step: draw an up trend line. We connect two new lows, this low and this low. Get an up trend line first. Then, at this point, at this high point, we draw a parallel line of this line. Parallel line. This is a new ascending channel. Price movements is supposed to be within the channel. Here, the upper channel turn downwards. Here, the lower channel turn upwards. In an uptrend, first we need to draw an uptrend line. We connect two lows, get an uptrend line. Then find a high point. For example, here we draw a parallel line. Then this is what we call ascending channel. The price movements is supposed to be inside the channel. Once price hit upper line, turn downwards. Hit the lower line, turn upwards. But if we find the next low is not on this lower line, that means the ascending channel is not effective anymore. Then we need to create the ascending channel. How to create? First, draw an uptrend line. We connect two lows. Draw an uptrend line. Then we find the high point here. We make a parallel line. The following price movements is supposed to be within the channel. Once hit upper line, turn downwards. Today we learned how to join ascending channel. We must remember up trend line first, parallel line next. That means we should connect the lows first, not connect the highs. Second. The upper and lower channel lines have resistance and support. The upper line has resistance, and the lower line has support. And we need to remember to create the channel. If the current channel is not effective anymore, then we need to create the channel. If you want to learn more about stock knowledge, welcome follow my Telegram channel.